All right, guys. Well, uh, this is Future Me. Uh, we did a hunt on the way down to uh, Bruzel Fest. We hit as many stores as we possibly could, and then we hit the festival hard. I uh, interviewed a lot of the people that were there, uh, and then I kind of did a basic walkthrough and just kind of give you uh, my thoughts on what was happening at the distillery or uh, at Bruzel Fest. Uh, this video is 100% a hot mess. Uh, about halfway through, it kicks over from doing hunt videos to just kind of the independent uh, individual Crittenden's and uh, Old Dominic and some of the other ones that are there. I did get the cool Oak Bowery t-shirt. So uh, I will do the wrap up at the end of it and kind of just say what's going on. The shelves are looking good. So now I just got to get everything situated. So, all right guys, well, uh, this is the intro to the video. Probably my worst video ever as they, as people always say. So, all right, hope you enjoy it. All right, my friends. Well, we are on our way to Bruzel Fest and we're just gonna hit as many stores as we possibly can. There is a Costco here, so we're gonna go into Costco and see what they've got. All right, let's see here. I don't know what I should get. Got the McAllen, the biggest bottle of Coximos I've seen. Old Forester. Really, my first time ever uh, hunting in a uh, in a Costco. So Widow Jane, Knob Creek. They're kind of hoping to see if we could find a 12 for uh, something that was decent. So. Four roses, big thing of wild turkey. Oh, I guess I should do the up above here. Got the small batch. Somebody was asking about the, the cast strength last night. Who was asking about the, the number 46 cast strength? There's Long Branch. Jack Daniels, got the Larceny, and the Rumcast, so, got a lot of uh, Bullet, and we got some Spiced Rum here, and some Makers, so, <clears throat> kind of a little disappointed, thought there'd be a big thing of Blanton's laying around out here, but hadn't seen any of that, so, uh, Really, this is my first time uh, actually uh, shopping for at Costco. We're in Birmingham, Alabama. Actually, Hoover, Alabama. So the Lalo, which is a good stuff. And they got their own brands of this stuff, so I'm not exactly sure uh, if anything is super duper here. I'll go back over here, and uh, that's that's a that's the biggest bottle of that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's 1750. I mean, that's a, a, I mean, that's it's huge. That's I mean, that's a, that's a fantastic bo looking bottle. So. So that's 350 bucks. Yep. Uh, two, 250. No, no, above it. Oh, above it. Oh, you know what? That's, but, but that bottle, the regular size one, is like 160 in Memphis. Oh yeah, for sure. So Put the down more. No, I got nothing in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing in the back. Yeah. I love it. Y'all got anything in the back? You know, what? I think I walked through and was doing the prices here. I needed should have been doing up here. So. This is their, uh, yes, there's, I'm sorry, I'll do another walkthrough and try to get a better idea of, of that, so. All right, a little disappointed. Sorry I didn't do the prices very well. Um, kind of walking through. Anytime I go to a new place, you know, I get kind of stupid and, uh, and get excited, so. All right, well, I don't know that we're going to get much any here. Uh, they do have the Maker's Mark here. Any Dunkers in here, possibly? Oh, my gosh, it's a big bottle. I like the big handles there. Oh, and there's a blended scotch here. It's 31. And all right, on to the next store. All right, we're at Select ABC Spirits in Birmingham. They were gracious enough to let me film. They are playing music, so... As usual, because they're playing music, I'll have to do a lot of talking, which everybody loves when I talk. I will kind of go through here and do look, oh, Garrison Brothers. We never get to see Garrison Brothers where I'm at, so. All right, well, I'll kind of go through here and kind of see. Uh, there's the Woodford Double Oak. That's a 
little bitty bottle. We got some Peerless straight rye. We actually have some of that in the car that we someone picked up for us. I got a bottle of that that I think is a little bit cheaper than that at the house. I think I paid $10 for mine, but mine was on clearance. So, all right, Super Zoom, calm down. All right. Got the Rebel. Got NASCAR bourbon and whiskey. Uh-oh. So I'm not going to do a, uh, a super traditional hunt here. I'll kind of go up and down, I think. We'll just kind of go through here. I am with a couple of fellas. Uh, you may you may recognize Layton, and uh, there's uh, Daniel and uh, my little brother. Uh, oh, Judge Roy Bean Spirits. So let's we'll see if there's anything. Uh, Clyde Mays is going to be out there. I've not had much Clyde Mays, but I figure that that will not be something I can say. I'm kind of really just pointing out anything that's... Uh, now, we can hit any of these stores on the way back. I may not get anything now, but we may try to find something. Uh, see if there's anything interesting here. There's all the Penelope's. And the, oh, there's old Dominic. So that's good. Let's see. Got the Devil's River. And let's see here. We'll kind of go. Got a lot of uh, uh, what's going on? What did we see? It's just the weird wow tops of these cut above. Oh. Of stuff. oh, yeah, is that salt? That's a little like sea salt. Hmm. Old soul, old soul. Oh. Crittenden's. see, they had a uh, red spot over there. Red spot, no, 15 years. Oh, wow. All right, I'm gonna get back over here and kind of do some of this. Is we have we don't have in our area, so I'll be checking at it. Dead River, so got the uh, anybody see any of the wild turkey? No. Let's see. We got got the knockoff birthday blend. Got oh, it's Stella. That's kind of rare. Oh, look at that. Got those little bottles with their cute little belts. All right, I'm gonna kind of go through and do another quick kind of walk through here. It's a music stop. Honestly, that's why I was going so fast. Uh, got the old tub. Don't see any uh, old granddad 114, of course. We'll go back over here and do a little bit of the scotch here. Down more. Got the Glenn Levitt. All right, Glenn Moraldry. All right, I'm gonna go over here and maybe do a little bit better job of uh, going through here. Irons ones, legends. Uh oh. You know we have a group on the uh, Discord called the Legends. Should be should have picked that up. At Redwood Empire. And let's see. Sorry. You know this is a new store. I'm super excited. Super excited. Oh. Ah, Russell's Reserve Straight Rye Single Barrel. I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to try to get one of the guys to get those. So, All right, well, we're going to go on. Unless I find something more interesting here, we're going to the next store. Let's see how many we can hit today on the way down to Bruzel Fest. All right, Leighton uh, caught the, uh, these are all the store picks over here. So we're going to try to see some of these. So there's Founders Cut. There is uh, the Ezra Brooks. And then this is the Bonded Lillard. Which did we say this is sixty dollars? Yeah, sixty. So I got the rabbit hole here, which is, uh, and let's see here we got uh, Rossville and some minor cases. Love this bottle right here. We got the Emirate, and then we also have uh, Disco Ten and this Highland Park, which I'm going to try to find out how much that is. That's uh, pretty good. All right, I got the Desarno. And I don't think the rest of these are store picks, but they, oh, no, a bunch of them are store picks, so that's uh, pretty good. Oh, and the Kraken. Uh-oh. Is that a tiki mug for $23? Oh, do you think that's glass? Oh, no. Yeah. Um, let's see what I can do about that in a second. That may come home with me, because, you know, I'm a big Kraken fan. So, all right. I got one of those when I was at uh, the uh, Derby. All right, I'm going to kind of go over here real quick and take a quick look at some of their other gift sets that was pointed out after we got over here. Um, got the High West, and uh, this Maker's, the Oak is nice. So you get two in there, uh, Private Select. 
And I think there was only three last year, and there's four this year. So look at them sneaking in last year's and keeping it. All right, officially, we are done. We will do a, an overall haul by the end of it. I think they're, they've got a couple of things in their hands that they're uh, curious about. They've already gotten over there. All right. All right, we're in the Hoover package store. And uh, I do, uh, oh, and I do like, uh, it looks like an alien with a, uh, it's ET Area 51, so that's pretty funny. Got the Eagle Rare. They don't have a ton here, but I think the uh, ET uh, is pretty funny. So they don't have a they don't have a lot here. So unfortunately. So, but I am uh, just kind of just looking to kind of see what they have here. Oh yeah, scotch. Yeah, no, no scotch. <laughs> I, I love scotch. So, oh, these guys are actually going to be at the uh, Bristol Fest, Bama Shine. So we will get to try some of that. So. And the blackberry. So, yeah. Look, it's an alien with that on there. So. Area Yeah, Area 51. Oh, just the box oh, up just there. Just the box. Oh, just the box okay. up there. A lot of minis. I thought there might be something interesting. So. It is a cool bottle. So. What is it? <laughs> I'm not sure we're laughing at that one bottle. Oh, they got some good stuff over here. Got that. Oh, got it. Is that the is that the cl clearance section over here? I'm not sure what that is. All right. Well, we were at Hoover. This was kind of just a quick. We were just driving around and saw it and pulled over into the uh, into the parking lot. So, on to the next store. All right. We're at Altadena Spirits. Uh, Another quick stop. We were just running through. We're going to hit these stores as fast as we can because uh, we are on our way down to the festival. So, all right, let's see. I have uh, definitely a lot of interesting uh, stuff in here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not really my scene. All right. Oh, cool. I do love that there is. The Christmas stuff is out now, so uh, let's see. McAllen 15 to 12. I'm gonna. I'm going. Oh, uh, uh, I like. Uh, uh oh. They got they got the Lucky Cat Japanese whiskey. Oh my goodness! I bet the hand goes up and down. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, don't worry. Let's see, I'm gonna kind of. You've already found something you're gonna get, Layton. Yeah, he's got some minis back there. Oh. Some of them are old too. Not like real old, but old. There's the Maker Mark 46, but it's not the cast drink. Uh, Woodford Reserve. Oh, our first Detling. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've been. Uh, Single barrel too. All right, sorry, I'm trying to put my glasses on so I can see better. I'm not really going to go much into the scotch here, so I'll take a look here. should be, what, 60? Here's the Oh, wow, this is disco number eight. Oh. A lot of Clyde Mays over here. All right, and we are going to kind of go through here. Here's the Jack Daniels. Yeah, uh, two? Yeah, one. One or two? Oh. Luckily, we found us a little bit of the little little gross on that. More. Uh, I got. So they got the disco here. Uh, let's see the blue note. Uh, so interesting. Is that, uh, blue top. Got a lot of this Roy uh, Bean Spirits. Anybody uh, anybody have any of that? I'm not curious about. Right. And that is a bottle of EJ that has uh, seen better days. Right, let's see here. So that's our first Detling. First one I've ever actually seen in a store, so. Oh, I got this. Yep. Yeah, we've got a bunch of here. <laughs> 
Yeah. I know. I was like, dang, I guess it's not that cool now. Ah, it's so cool. Oh, look, uh, look at the Porsche now. So, that's nice. Got the, got the Penelope, the Black, and the Rossville. Anything else? Disco 8? Yeah, I saw the Disco 8 over there. Um, let's see. Got the Joseph Magnus. Yep. Keep any of your allocated stuff back there, or you put it up here. We only need to get that cure bottle on the one. Okay. This is maybe uh, overstock, possibly. I don't know. We'll just kind of breeze through this and take a look. Or it could just be the way that they have it set up. So, hey, Kentucky Tavern. That's some good stuff. A lot of old soul over here. We've seen more of that too. So, all right. Well, we're gonna head on to the next store and let's see if there's something we can't live without. All right, well, after scra uh, striking out at the last place, scratching out, striking out, we're at the spot at, at 280 Liquor, Beer, and Wine in Birmingham. Super nice. Guy shook my hand, said, come on in. Gotta love that. So, all right, let's see what we can see. Uh, let's see. Front door. Gonna kind of go up and down here a little bit. Got the pulse setting. Always good to see uh, old Dominic. We got the Russells right here. Right. Let's see. We uh, got that wild turkey here. One twenty-seven. Got the Statesman. Man, that double oak is all over the place on price. There's a. Uh, let's see. Got the, we got the Booker's. Wow, the Booker's is a good price. They do have the G uh, Rose, uh, but the single barrel. Holy moly! You almost never see that. Do you guys see the cast string? <laughs> the better stuff. Blah, blah. <gasps> Wait, this is... <laughs> hey, this is the area. This is what we're looking for. So, all right. So, Rock Hill Farms. I got a gold. Got a, uh, I guess that's a regular one. I got the Murray Hill. Special there. I'm looking for a foolproof, but I'm still, still going to be looking, I think. So, that's good. Ben Holiday. Oh, there's a cut above. And let's see. Let's check the head. Yeah, these these are not covered in sea salt. That sweet home. I don't. I, I don't know them. So, oh, more Detlings. Slowly. Oh, more Disco Ten. That's funny. We get. That's the second Disco Ten we've seen out here. I guess Disco. Oh, more Detling. That's interesting. I hope we get to try it. This stuff is terrible. You remember this, Chris? Well, it you remember this? Yeah. Johnny Drum? It was 80 something. Yeah, but still. That Johnny Drum. Garbage. Riverset Rye. Oh, the Riverset Rye. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I'm at a new store. Haven't eaten anything. You know, we're going to be all over the place, bouncing around, just kind of showing you some stuff. We point those out because we have some. We got a pretty good deal on a bunch of that. And, we got tin cup. All right, let's see here. The Russells. Uh, Clad May single barrel. Uh, so much stuff we've never seen before. It's a great little store. Seen a lot of stuff that I've never seen before. Got the river set down there. Got a excellent scotch section. Sorry, Ooh, I just dropped the phone. They got as much scotch as they do. Uh... Ooh, you know what I'm looking for? Oh, you think we might find some? Uh... Oh, that wasn't as much scotch as I thought. Uh, I thought that went on around the corner. I was hoping we could find some Kilcoman. Sorry. Let's see here. The stuff for Canadian Chris. 
All right. Well, this was a, a, an excellent find. I think we were just kind of driving around and we kind of jumped to a parking lot to get it. And uh, if you've ever ridden with Daniel, you know we took our lives in our hands to to uh, to come and do some bourbon hunting. But but thankfully he was gracious enough to drive. All right. Well, I think that is a a pretty good. Uh, we did at least get to see some Miller foolproof and some gold. So all right, let's go on to the next one. All right, I'm at Hat Liquor Hub in Birmingham, I guess, basically. So we're going to go in here. Uh, beware of dogs. Oh, no. Let's see. They kind of got a half gas station, half uh, uh, half bourbon whiskey tequila section over here. So we'll kind of see uh, what they got. Oh, wow, they got it. How much is it? What did you say, 59? That's 58. 58? Oh, yeah. that's a... Uh, that's a possible right there. We got the uh, got Blanton's up there. That's not a terrible price. Blanton's gold over here too. How much is a Blanton's gold? Well, I'll get over there. All right. oh, I got the, the skull. Sorry, I'm. You know how I am. New store, all crazy. More Detling. This is. I think this is the best price on the Detling we've seen so far. Eighty nine. That's pretty good. On some of these stores, I'll try to go through. Go kind of go through here and kind of see the. This is kind of stuff that we have seen in last week. Oh, you got one too? Yeah. Oh, nice. Too. Nice. We should get some of that uh, whiskey kila for a punishment for. All right. So, what is that? Deadly corn whiskey. Oh, deadly corn whiskey. Oh, that's pretty good. How much is it? Oh, it's not too bad. That's something different for sure. <laughs> we saw some little Blantons and now uh, our buddy Daniel is on a full on mission to get that. Uh, oh look, they got the gross. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got they got the Derringer. Oops, sorry, I got the chicken, you know what. They got some Bookers. They got the uh, Fearless, the running, roaming man. Still need to get some of that. People say that it's not. Uh, they say that it's not minty, but I don't believe them. So, all right, let's see if I can. I don't have my glasses on. I think it's 128. If I'm far enough back. So, all right. Well, I didn't get catching that catching that topper. That's uh, that's pretty good. It usually comes out at Christmas. I'm surprised. Maybe that is the Christmas. What'd you find? You found the Detling uh, corn liquor, right? Yeah, platinum. Nice. Platinum whiskey. Take, take some of that. And what's the proof on it? Uh, 50%. 50. That's, yeah, that's I mean, kind of sad. I, it, not, not 100 proof, it's 50%. Was it white dog? Yeah. Nah, uh, probably some white dog. Right. The, uh, this is interesting. This Bullet. Is <laughs> More of this uh, river set. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at the amount of, uh, oh, that's the three pack I was talking about. Uh, so. All right, well, this was Hat. They were very nice uh, for letting me shoot, and I appreciate that very much. I'm gonna look at what their scotch prices are. Yeah. Always interesting to see what they have in other cities and states. On to Phoenix. What are you, look, what, what are you looking at now? Just you trying, I was just looking at the white dog at the deadline. I forgot when it was made. Oh. Like if this is something they're still doing. Oh yeah, nice. All right. Well, Detling White Dog, we can get we can hit this place on the way back. So this is going to be on our if we, if we get there and we find out it's something we we'll do. Hey, I hear this stuff is fire. What do you think? All right. We're at Jay's Package Store. They're outside of a gas station out here. I'm just going to kind of give a little bit of a, a quick little uh, show of what's going on out here. Um, they are super small. Uh, and that was it. That's the whole bourbon section. And I thought it was just kind of funny. Um, kind of just show what they have here. Um, interesting for us is that these little stores have uh, this, these little stores are in a gas station for us. We don't we don't have anything like that over here for us. So um, there's old camp, Mini. You need the old camp, little one. All right. Well. I tell you, uh, the pickings have been pretty slim, to be honest with you. Uh, a couple of gems and some that aren't so much. So they do have the Shanky's Whip, which is great on ice cream. On to the next one. 
All right, well, this is our very first pour. We are at Bruzel Fest, and you are with Pursuit United. So tell me a little bit. Yeah, so uh, I hate to say it, but you're starting the roller coaster at the top right here. It's going to be all downhill after this one. So I, I believe this it. is our Pursuit United Double Oak. This is what TJ's been raving about for a very, very long time. Uh, and this is our flavor profile that we developed and harness for ourselves at Pursuit. Oh, and yeah. like I said, he's been raving about it. So we just sent 600 bottle of this to TJ for the next Bruzel drop. And so this is the exact batch that you're all going to be able to have a chance to try right. as well. And man, man, it sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Cheers. All right, cheers. Thing going on, uh, you guys want to talk about what you do and I'll kind of go to the side while you talk? Yeah, so uh, we're the Bond. So uh, we're the Vincero Spirits. That's our brand portfolio. Uh, we have the Bond, Thornbush, and then upcoming Daredevil Spirits. So uh, a wine in commemoration of Evil Knievel and all his stunts. So uh, we're a non-distilling producer based out of Bardstown. We source barrels from four different states, uh, North Carolina, Indiana, Kentucky, uh, and then uh, some from West Virginia as well. So really just kind of make multi-state blends and uh, make the best out of the barrel inventory that we do have. So where, where can we get your stuff? Uh, so available online right now at bondbourbon.com. Uh, we ship to 45 states, I believe. Uh, you can get it there or we're distributed all across Kentucky um, and retailers there. All right. All right. Well, thanks. I appreciate yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Talk about your favorite subject. So. Yeah. I'm Royce got? Neely, owner and master distiller at Neely Family Distillery. Down here today at the uh, Bruzel Craft Spirits Festival, which uh, my wife Rebecca and I are glad to be down here at. We brought some killer bottles with us. So first one we got is our batch 23B. This one's been sold out for about a year. This is a double gold winner at San Francisco last year and just won best small batch last week. So I literally just got back from San Francisco accepting the award. All right, let's see. I think we try this one here is going to be our newest batch called Cherry Picker. It's an 11 barrel batch, sets at 109 proof, barrel oh, wow. strength. That's and good. my master blender, Jackie Zykan, did a phenomenal job on both of these. Can I see the bottle? Sure. Real quick. Let's see. Well, it does not drink 110 yeah, at all. That. That's the pot stills. Oh, yeah. So. Yep, so I do. All, a lot of old school distillation methods. So it's all non-chill filtered, fermented, and open top cypress. I work my own yeast on site. It's all double pot distilled, and uh, all that kind of adds together to give it a much more mellow taste for sure. Well, thank you. Appreciate no it. No problem, man. Thank you. Right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and we're rolling. Uh, and we're rolling. Uh, so yeah, uh, up front we've got our ten type series. It's a twenty-one percent rye. This is a seven. This is a nine. Uh, back here we have some of our um, in-house distillate. Uh, this is a product we just released exclusively in the state of Mississippi. It's a 60% wheat, 74% corn, 10% malted barley. Um, fruit down to 100. We've also got a 21% wheat. It's kind of a sister recipe to this 21% rye. Uh, entry proof was 122, exit was 137 and a half. Um, we've also got a uh, 2018 uh, yeah, okay. uh, All-Mississippi Grain. This is a 65% corn, 28% wheat, and 7% uh, sorghum pila. Uh, and then I've also got a uh, four years, a little bit younger, but just a more product that we're working on. Uh, it's an heirloom series, so it's an uh, older variety of grain that we uh, that was grown in Mississippi. It's 80%, uh, 10 malt barley, 10% rye. Uh, yeah, sure thing. I'm gonna try this. Can I try the sorghum? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. I grew up on sorghum, so. All right. That's nice. Yeah. All right, thanks. Right. Sorghum, I mean, is that syrup? Oh, man. No, that's no, good. so it's, uh, it's a grain. I mean, they do definitely turn it down, like, but don't. Uh, it's a sugar. It it's a, it, a syrup, it, it, like yeah. molasses, like they make like a sorghum molasses. Uh, we're, we're actually using like the, the whole grain, though. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. Ooh, hey, look at there. I don't have to yell. I'm going to yell anyway. Um, 
anytime you do something for the first time, it's a learning experience. There's a lot of things you don't realize. And whiskey is very, very hard if you don't know. It's, it's difficult. Second. Yes. All right. All right. Well, my name is L.C. May. I'm the grandson of the original maker, Claude May. I'm here today at the Perusal Whiskey Fest. We got our entire, what I like to call, core lineup. We had the original recipe of my grandfather, Clyde May. It's what we call Alabama-style whiskey. It's the official state spirit of Alabama. We also have a 92-proof straight bourbon. It's a great everyday, easy sipping bourbon. We've got our straight rye whiskey that's 94-proof and four years old. We've got our brand new Conecuh Red straight bourbon to commemorate the opening of our new distillery in Troy, Alabama. And then we have our small batch straight bourbon. It's aged for six years and bottled at 110 proof. All, really, uh, anything that can uh, entertain or any any bourbon drinker can find something in this lineup that they really enjoy. I really like the uh, I like the eighty-five yeah, proof. Yeah, that's you know. easy sip and soft. Oh yeah, know. it's got a great uh, the finish on it. I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, I want to. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's actually finished with a touch of apple. That's what Alabama style means. It's not uh, for flavor; it's for finish to help soften it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, up into that, up until we add that, it's a straight bourbon. And then, but once we add that, it becomes an Alabama style whiskey. Okay. So, yes, sir. Uh, I am going to clean my Glen, and I would like to try the uh, the the one ten if you I can. Got it. Absolutely. Are you related? I, I am. I'm the great I, see, you, I, see, I see it. I yeah. see it. Uh, thank That's you. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Right, I love to see it. Oh. Proof there, but it's not overwhelming to be 110. It, it does not. Now. It does not drink 110 at all. So, yeah, thank you. oh, that is that is fantastic. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Absolutely. All right. All right. So with Cathead Distillery, we've got Old Soul Bourbon. I've got a small batch that's so going to be 44 different barrels made into a small batch, 90 proof, and then also have a single barrel that is going to be 109 proof. And the difference between this and other bourbons is we're high rye, so we're 21% rye, 75% corn, and 4% malted barley. Right, Form me your favorite. Yeah. Single barrel. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, thanks. All right. Cherry and leather. Oh, that's good. Good. I'm oh glad yeah. You, enjoy. you know, it's like a, a a lower proof stag. Reminds me. Of, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It literally almost feels like it's lower than 109 yeah oh yeah oh yeah this is it's this, just it, it does not does not drink 109 at all no like i it's, can even shoot it which is oh uh, oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah this would be great in an old fashioned oh, you, you, you make you make a fantastic oh yeah. that that's great man that's good so. good thank right. you so much thank you talking about what <laughs> talking about what uh ben uh is that holiday holiday who hell it i'm just kidding no i know you i you started it so um yeah we're ben holiday uh oldest distillery west of the mississippi we come from western missouri about 48 miles north of the kansas city downtown we have four expressions here today two different mash bills come out and try it can i try the uh red wheat yeah, uh, Rick House or a bottle of mud? Rick House. Please. All right. I'll that. Oh, that's good. We're just now starting to see this. I live, in, I live in Memphis, so we're just now getting to see this in West Tennessee. So I don't think we have the Rick House. Um, I think we have the bottle of mud. We definitely have the bottle of bomb, but I don't think that we have the Rick House. But I've also been drinking, so I can't be trusted. I'm an unreliable <laughs> source. So. Up. All right. Are we just taking a picture? Or are we no, I'm doing. I'm doing YouTube. So, okay, awesome. so first, first of all, are you doing Doctor Who cosplay? You seem like you're like the tenth Doctor. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I was born in 1982. Uh, we did not get Doctor Who in Mansour, Louisiana. No. I just dressed like this because I did theater in college. Oh, nice. So I like it. So. I yes. so I'll tell you. Um, we're out of Memphis, and uh, the the Detling and the Crittendens, we have to tr we have to travel down to Mississippi to get it for, out, out of Tennessee. So we, we just want you to come to, to Memphis, the Memphis, Tennessee area, just so you know there is a hunger for it. So we will. I know if you just come across the border to Hernando and all that, we got that, it there. You know. That, I mean that 100. percent So I mean, y'all got that OD, which we just got back in Mississippi not too long ago. Yeah. I'm just saying. Oh we yeah. Just got back in Mississippi. Oh no, yeah. So I have had one port of Detling in my entire life, so I'm I'm super excited. I saw both these bottles. I would love to try whatever you got. 
right there. Well, I'll so. tell you what, I'm going to pour this one first right here. Not in the bottom. You can't get in there. We got to go in there first. What? Oh, my God, my friend. I didn't oh, yeah. even. I wasn't looking at your chest to be nice. Oh, that's fine. We well, go. I mean, you're not the first person to look at my chest. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, is it a symphony of flavor? Oh, that's got a lot going on. I like, what's a. Pre what's a yeah, what's oh, this Jackson over everything, Jackson, Mississippi. Oh. My friend owns a t shirt shop in downtown Jackson, so I wore it for him today. Sorry. No, that's fine. What's the proof on that? Oh, uh, this one is going to be. Oh, 100 proof. 100 proof. It does oh, not, does not Yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was an 80. Uh, well, it's like, I call it Grandma's Kisses. It's a little spice, but it just hugs you and goes to bed. Grandma's Kisses. I love a Grandma Kiss whiskey. That is very good. I don't want to keep people other people from drinking. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Tell me all about you. Okay, so we are you're good. Distillery. We're out of Middle Tennessee in Franklin, just south of Nashville. We make pre-prohibition style whiskey. We are a small batch distillery. Is there anything in particular you want to pour up? We got three expressions today. We've you got, give, give me your favorite. Okay. It depends on the day. They're all good. I think it's Saturday, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee whiskey's chocolate filtered, a little, little lighter on the palate, you know, smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Our bourbon's weeded, that's probably my favorite. I'll take your favorite. But we also have a rye, I kind of want you to try that too. So is the rye, and, and, and I'm world famous for asking this, and he's he's on camera because he, he slid off. You see how he slowly started going to the right? Like like he just got more to the right? So I'm world famous for asking, is it minty? The rye? No, I okay. Say so. It's 55 rye, 30 corn, 15 toasted barley malt. Uh, it's almost eight years. This is one of our, this is our oldest blend. Oh, I like that. Got. And you know, yep. I, this reminds me a lot of, um, uh, and I like Canadian whiskey, so this is not a this is not a not a not a, uh, a slight on you. Like you know, when they take the old Stinson Weller and they take it up oh, there and yeah. they age it, it's got like a, a plum or a stone fruit type. Yes. You know that I, I love that. So 100%. all right, let's try the rye. Let's see let's see what the rye does here. What can I do to you today? I call this the gateway rye because it's not going to smack you around like a lot of ryes on the market. I like I like a peppery rye I, and, and and occasionally a dill pickle rye. Occasional. Dill, okay, that's you're like the third person that said dill pickle, and I'm like, I feel like there, I've only found one that has any kind of like pickliness to it. But this one's one of my favorites. It's also, you know, if you're a cocktail guy, it makes me in Manhattan. So, uh, you're, you're probably not drinking on the job. Uh, she's drinking on the job, but uh, quality control. If you if you take a sip of that and you think about pickle, you'll get pickle in there, but not in a bad way. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about a bad pickle. But if you this is this is what I would call. It, it is in the pickle family, but that's not a. I, it's in the pickle family. Like I do have different palettes. Oh yeah, and I have a trash palette. I'm world world famous. I'm I'm world famous for having a trash palette. So there's 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 no tonight. No yeah no I've got a terrible palette, but but I mean in a good way. But anything's better than that spearmint. You get that spearmint. It's on the side. It hits me on the side of the tongue. Yeah, it's like the back taste buds. Yeah, and it just and it doesn't go away. I'm, I might as well be done for the day. Like I'm I'm done. Yeah, I was I, that first thing I say is like uh, that that. Is that mint? I feel mint like I get like a, like a licorice or star anise a lot with that, so, which I like. So, it's a very short hop for me from licorice and star anise to dill pickle. And, I, and when I say dill pickle, it's not, it's not. It's not like the chips. Yeah, no, no, no. But it's that, like if you, if, like just that after effect of, of pickle juice, I think. So, I mean, it's very, very good though. So, and I, we're in Memphis. So we, we talk about maybe uh, running up there and seeing you guys all the time. So, oh, heck yeah. Yeah. We're, awesome. we're in Memphis. We try to do. Any whiskey event that's in Memphis, I mean, we love Old Dominic. Like, we got a lot of friends over there. Oh, so yeah, Old Dominic's the best. We're always in that neck of the woods. All right, well, I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Cheers. All right, bye. All right, let me see. You're uh, John Emerald Distilling? That's right. And I'm right. Jimmy Sharp. I'm the uh, co founder and uh, uh, I guess everything in between bathroom cleaner, head distiller, all, all the things. But nice, uh, nice. We're a pretty small outfit, but this is our. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna grab the right bottle here. Yeah, that's kind of our flagship product, our single malt whiskey. Can I try it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I have that, and I have that in 86 proof, and we also do it in a cast strength, 116. Yeah, uh, give me the 116. Okay. You like that? <laughs> go, go. Let's get right to the chase. Right? I'm a I'm a proof individual, so how about that? So. So that is the first legally made whiskey in Alabama since Prohibition. Wow. Not the first whiskey, but the first legal whiskey. That's an important caveat, I guess, but 100% uh, malted barley. It's warm because of the sun. I wasn't ready for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. But uh, we, uh, we started with a single malt, which is a little unusual for a, for an American distillery, but we I trained this still in Scotland, so single malt's where I come You know, it, it doesn't have that. It's not super malty. It's it's just enough malt. This would be a great gateway that's into malt. 
to describe it that way. It's a gateway yeah. bourbon for a scotch well. drinker or a gateway scotch for a bourbon drinker. <laughs> it's kind of the one where we look at it. But. Well, because we're making it like scotch is 100% malt to Man, that is fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm a, we I'm smoke a, 20% of it with peach and pecan wood. So okay. that gives it a little bit of, instead of using peat, you know, the kind of thing. But, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're not you're not, not roasting dirt to, that's right. to get it to you, <laughs> yeah, so. That's right. That's right. Not decomposed ball in there. Man, that is fantastic. Well, thank you. I've seen your bottles. We 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 can't. We're, we're we're in Memphis. We don't see your stuff at all. And we we got a couple places in Memphis. Uh, you can find our stuff. What's it? Um, in oh my gosh, come on. Uh, Poplar Pike. Poplar oh. Pike Spirits, which okay. I think is in Ger is it Germantown. It's Germantown. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. It is Germantown. Yeah. They yeah. carry our single malt there as well as our vodka. He said, "Yeah, I get it. Hey. Yeah, yeah." Okay, cool. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've not seen it. So we're not heavily placed around Memphis. We're going we're gonna to shop here and there. Just, yeah. Man, that is fantastic. Uh, I love that. That is... Uh it's got a little bit of a burn, which you don't wouldn't expect a little bit. I mean, but in a good way. Not when I say burn, I mean uh, we'll, we'll say that we'll say the Tennessee we'll take the Tennessee kiss, not the not, not the Kentucky hug. So, all right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to try the um, blue agave next. So, but all right. Well, I got to finish this first. Hold on. <laughs> Actually, you want to pour it in one of those little the little cups? I'll take one of those. These are communion cups, which uh, I don't know how I feel about that. But not, I'm not Catholic, so I'm okay with that. So. But that is uh, this is uh, this is fantastic. So, so this is our whiskey, our añejo agave spirit. So we we import the agave in its uh, syrup form from Mexico to ferment the still out here and age it in the new single malt. One hundred percent tastes like tequila. I mean, it's great. I mean, it, yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna, oh, it is it is tequila. I was like, I thought. We can't legally call it tequila because yeah. we make it in Alabama, not Mexico. Yeah, it, it tastes like tequila to me. So. In tequila. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good too. Man, you guys are doing some fun stuff. Well, thanks. All right, appreciate it. Thanks. Tell me what you got. Oh, hey guys, I'm I'm Austin Crow, I'm the owner, founder of Sweet Home Spirits. I'm bringing everything under uh, across my distillery, um, showcasing some lighter fare. Really, we're showing off a distillery reserve, my cinnamon campfire cast strain. All right, can I try it? Yeah. While we're talking? Yeah, this has been my favorite to sip on lately. Um, and then I'm showing off our batch four divided, which is my family grain, Alabama style charred pecan wood. On the, after we take it out of the barrel, do a nice charred pecan wood in it. So what makes it Alabama? The, the apple? It's my family grain. Uh, so it's from Ham Hamilton, Marion County. And, uh, and it's all that corn from there. It's a yellow row corn. And then that pecan wood that char in, I feel like makes it very Alabama. So we don't do the green apple. That I, I was gonna it. say, I was gonna say, I think in in, in it to be Alabama style, it's it's a green apple, right? No. Well, I've, Clyde, Clyde May has it on there. I'm I'm kind of making my own. I, I didn't like green apple in my my whiskey, but uh, I like pecan wood. Man, those groves in southern Alabama. This is That's very. A, that was the cinnamon. Very Christmas. Oh yeah, the, the <laughs> fire, gonna... man. This has been fun uh, launching that cast strength. So. Oh yeah, nice. Then, so you were talking about the limoncello, which I think that's the next one I'm gonna try. It's our number one seller. So we uh, we take our vodka, and make a all natural lemon peel, uh, infuse it into that high proof vodka, then reintroduce it, proof it down, and and do a light sweet swim uh, syrup to it. So we. Uh... We're in Tennessee, in Memphis, so we don't really see this. So uh, this is are you all Alabama only? Yeah, or? Alabama, parts of Georgia, parts of Florida. Can I, can I try this? Yes. Let me give you a little cup for it. I'm gonna try some of the limoncello. You're a, a scholar and gentleman. I appreciate it. Thank you. I dropped my glasses, so I know. Yeah, I was, I was yeah, gonna, yeah, I, yeah. That a lot of that has to do with I can't see. And the thing is, the sun's coming in and hitting me, I know, and, and I, I can't see. And I'm. I know I'm I'm the worst, literally. So. <laughs> so that's yeah, our. Uh, it's a light sweet, so it doesn't. We don't. Oh, uh, that's fantastic! Oh, that's fantastic. We try to be pretty conscious. It's like these cinnamon whiskeys. That's a sugar free. That's a sugar free. You know, we're, we're trying to do all natural. Is the limoncello sugar, sugar free? This one has a light sweet. It's a third yeah. of the normal. Yeah. Limoncello. If you try a limoncello off the off the shelf, it's yeah. usually heavily sweet. There's a little bit a little bit of bitter there, but it's a good bitter. So that's, that's from the peel. Still smelling it, smelling it. I know. It's, yeah. So <laughs> yes, I agree. I, I'm from the peel. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but uh, we. It's been no, nice. it's a good it's a good bitter though. I think yeah. I think it needs it. So Thank you could use that in uh, in in an old in a pretty good old fashioned. I think so. Yeah. I mean, you could probably do like a whiskey sour, a little splash uh, limoncello. We do. We call we tell people to do Frick seventy five. So one third oh, yeah. limoncello, two thirds prosecco. That's my. Oh, CFO's favorite drink is the French 75. So, or if it's hot out, club soda. Yeah, no just make a light. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I hey, appreciate you. Thank right. you. Bye.
I'm a lot, so you might. Alright, we'll right, all right, we're doing a uh, old. We're doing we're doing old Dominic, which is. Uh, I, t tell me about old Dominic. I don't know much about that. So, so old Dominic is out of Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> you big you're old Dominic fan? He's from Memphis. Yeah, I'm a big. I, I'm I'm a, a big fat uh, old Dominic fan. So yeah, I, I know. Awesome. It, so, yeah. Well then, we're gonna play a game. This, this this is the game I've been playing with everybody. So oh yeah. Try this. Right. And tell me the proof. Okay. Oh. So this might be a cheat cheat for me, sir. So. Oh, I love old Dominic. So, what do you think that what do you, what do you think that proof is? So, um, one twenty. I'm gonna say nine oh one, ninety point one. So most people have been guessing around 100, 110. Just so you know, I'm not cheating. 125, 125. Yeah, so, oh yeah. It doesn't, it, it doesn't drink 120, but I, I, I cheated a little bit because normally when people ask, they... <laughs> <laughs> no. Everybody's blown away by that. He's telling, telling lies over here. He is telling lies, so yeah, this is Clark. I told him, I told him, I said, I, I don't know much about this old Dominic, so can you can you let me know, can, can you tell me what, 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 why should someone drink this old Dominic stuff that, I, that I've been here? This is my first time trying it here. What, what I mean, you mean? Certainly, you should try. <laughs> yeah, I think you should try. Yeah. So, you try our honey barrel. Ah, the honey barrel. It's coming. I'm going to make some last night. Oh, you did? You tried some of this? I tried some of this. I'm not going to point you. I tried some honey barrel cashier last night. So, what did you think about that, that our honey barrel? It was good. It was, it was good. good. I don't, you know, I told you, I don't love, you know, I, 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 our whiskey's good enough. I don't like doing stuff to it. No. That was good. It was the right amount of kind of sweet notes without being like, Oh, no, no, I agree. I agree. And and I picked that uh, I picked that 132.32 from uh, Caesars because it was so hot to try to, to kind of you know soften it a bit. Yeah. yeah no, 100 percent. So. Drink that real quick. I got you something. Oh, dude, try J Rocks. Oh, it's just your. You, I hear your honey barrel is better than my honey barrel. So. Now his is bourbon. Where yours was. Hold on. Let me get a little more. Oh. Right? Yeah. So he uh, yes. Yeah. So. Major zero. Yeah. Oh man, that smells so good. It smells so much better than mine. Yeah. I'm crap, and and I have a trash. <laughs> I have a I have a I have a trash palate. So. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. Ah, you you stink because you're better than me. So. Yes. Yes. Whiskey was, yeah. It kind of got drowned out. No, we drowned out by the. A hundred percent, hundred percent. So you said you said five days in that honey barrel. Yeah. So the honey sat in the barrel. It's a two liter barrel. The, the honey sat in there for a week. I dumped that, let the honey sit overnight, or the barrel sit overnight empty, and then filled it up uh, with two bottles of this. What's the proof on that? 120, 122, 134. Yeah. It was only five days. I tasted it in five days, and the oak was really starting to impact the whiskey. Yeah. I was like, all right, this has got to come out. Yeah, we we did we did something similar. Ours stayed in there for, and we don't have our barrel near us, so but we had ours. We kept we kept the honey in there for a month, almost almost two weeks. We had a. Whatever the math is for having six bottles in, I think it's a two-liter bottle. Okay. And then uh, we we took the honey out. It was only half full. And then we filled it with 132.32 proof, and we set it there. We lost about half a bottle to the bottle share. I mean, to the angel share. So, uh, so, but yeah, um, yours. Yours has more of the honey. It's funny. Yours has more honey than I than than, than ours does. Ours is. We have the sweetness. But not the honey that that we were hunting. So, but we wanted something that was so hot that, that it was hot that we could kind of almost like a bee sting on that. So, yeah, uh, that's so good though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To me, that really amplifies the corn, the bourbon aspect of that. I hope it amplifies that rice so much. It is like yeah. It's almost like a rye whiskey. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's so good. So, I, I, I'm a I'm a big fan of Old Dominic. Everybody knows that. So, uh, that's the first time you ever had it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah for the first time trying old dominic that's not true so yeah so uh thank you so much i appreciate it so all right thanks guys appreciate it so all right i'm gonna do a walk through kind of just kind of show what uh, what is going on here uh there's a lot of music playing so if, if suddenly it cuts out because they uh catch me for uh playing music i will stop there is uh the florida tennessee game which i will be coming back and watching i'm gonna go over here and uh i think i'm gonna pour real quick 
the VIP section is kind of thin. So I think you can kind of hang out here and uh, not have any trouble. I would love to take this barrel home with me. You think I can do it? Probably not, so. I got all kinds of shit. I think this is uh, un unattended. Is this unattended whiskey? No, I am. I'm attending it. For oh, he's. I, th I thought this was like an unattended whiskey. No, he's, I was like, he's on stage. I'm, I'm yeah, he's on stage with Blizzle right now. Oh, so, but still, if we wanted to pour, we could just have it, right? So, what's yeah, the, what's sure. the highest proof we got? Water. Water. <laughs> oh, what is yeah, it? What yeah, is, yeah, is it? So, I can't. One thirty-one point five. I'll take it. Okay. So, give me a little bit so of this. Twist so. your arm. Don't give me a lot. Stop. No, no, oh, come on. I would, I would have. Yeah, come on. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, stop, stop. That's no, no, much. no, stop. There we go. Thank that's you. A two, so. That's a two finger. Oh, uh, two this finger guy. Hold on. I'm going to show this guy's feet. He ran to not be in the video. So obviously, he's on America's Most Wanted. So I'm showing his feet. If you're looking for this guy right here, this is his shoe size. Take a step back so we can get your blueprint. That's his blueprint right there. So he did not want to be on camera. So. All right, so this is my all right, so. all right, so I'm gonna go try to eat some food and not pass out. So that's my plan. So. All right, guys. Well, we just got back from the Bruzel Fest. We're worn out and tired. I just wanted to give you a quick haul. Uh, we got several of the Crittendens while we were traveling down there, and we got the uh, TJ Gamble Oak Bowery. They're uh, blend number one. Uh, my brother got the uh, old elk topper. He got in the building before I did, so I didn't get to get that. Been looking for that. I got the Detling and more Crittendens, and uh, I got a cute little baby lens. So, uh, and also they let us take some of the oak barrels from the. Uh, I guess it's the uh, Wheat State Distilling. So we got some of those, which is nice. You'll see more of those. I'll try to do something interesting with those. I just want to give you a quick wrap up. Uh, had a ton of fun. If you when they do it again, I think they may do try to do one in the spring. Uh, it, even that bird thinks it's a good idea. You can hear him chirping out there. So uh, we're exhausted. I'm going to bed. Thanks, guys.